हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय वीडियो हियर आई हैव प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम एमसीक्यू हियर ओके सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन वन इज इन असिमेट्रिकल मल्टी प्रोसेसिंग द प्रोसेसर आर पीयर्स ऑप्शन टू इज इन सिमेट्रिक मल्टी प्रोसेसिंग द प्रोसेसर आर प्लेस सिमेट्रिकली ऑन द मदरबोर्ड ऑप्शन थर्ड इज क्लस्टर सिस्टम आर यूज्ड फॉर अ हाई परफॉर्मेंस कंप्यूटिंग एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज All multi-processor system are multi-core system. So last option is automatically gets wrong because it can be a single core, dual core, octa-core or multi-core. So option four is wrong. And option one and two, first we understand what is a asymmetric and a symmetric multi-processing. In a computer, if if we have more than one processor in a computer. then it is called as a multiprocessor okay and uh, it can be arranged in a symmetrical ma manner or a symmetrical manner in a symmetrical manner means all the cpu in a computer are in master slave architecture form okay they they usually used master slave architecture and in symmetrical multiprocessing all cpu have equal rights means there is no master there is no slave so uh, option 1 and 2 also are wrong because the processor are peer or symmetrical multiprocessing the processor are peer no it is not true and in in second option in symmetrical multiprocessing the processor are placed symmetrically on the motherboard no it is also not correct option third cluster system cluster means we can use either software cluster or a hardware cluster okay why we use to increase the performance of computer okay so it is correct cluster system are used for high performance computer okay now let's move to next question now next question is how many character per second can be transmitted over a 2400 bps bits per second line if the transfer is asynchronous here question available in hindi is also there okay uh, here first we understand what is a data transmission matlab there are three types of data transmission first is synchronous data transmission second is asynchronous data transmission and the third one is isochronous data transmission synchronous means data transfer in a sync with a clock signal in a synchronous way okay here we have error detection mechanism and if error is detected then data can be resend in asynchronous data transmission data transfer at random interval okay but we use start bit and stop bit to distinguish between two data in this question we have one for start bit and one for stop bit okay and uh, last one is uh, also in asynchronous data transmission there is also a error detection mechanism in isochronous data transmission isochronous means it is a combination of synchronous and asynchronous data transmission okay uh, once the data once the data is start to transmit then data must be must have guaranteed bandwidth okay uh it is usually used in streaming video real time audio video okay and uh, there is no error detection mechanism events occur regularly or at equal time interval in this question we have total bit 7 yeah. plus 1 parity bit plus 1 start bit plus 1 stop bit means total bit is 10 bit and we have uh, we have available space Two four double zero. So just we divide two four double zero by ten. So we got two forty. Okay. Now answer is option one. Next question is which which of the following are language processor? Here is in Hindi. Language processor means what language actually computer understand? computer understand machine language okay so we use three type of a translator to convert high or low level language into a machine code or an object code so these three type of translator are 
assembler compiler and interpreter assembler means it can convert low level language or assembly language into machine code or object code and in compiler and interpreter it can convert high level language into a machine code and the basic difference between compiler and interpreter is that compiler can execute the whole uh, program at once whereas in intermeter the it can read line by line and detect error line by line and next question is following numbers are inserted in order in a binary search tree okay uh, uh, then the number of an item in a left and right subtree of a roots are okay it's it it's asking about how many left childs and right child of a root child of a root this is in hindi now first we know what is the condition to form a binary search tree in a binary search tree all the left childs are lesser than the root and the, all the right child are greater than the root okay so first we arrange these number 40 we place 40 at a root here 40 then then 60 60 is greater than 40 then it is it become the right child of 40 now next is 50 50 is greater than 40 but less than 60 so it become left child of 60 next is 33 33 is less than 40 so it become left child and next is 55 which is greater than 50 so it become right child of 50 next is 11 11 is less than 33 so it, it's become left child of 33 here we see 33 and 11 means two child in the left side of 40 and 60 50 55 three childs available of in the right side of a tree so an uh, option second one is correct two and three now let's move to our next question